Hi guys. So this morning I'm just going to do a little get ready with me video about how I actually just get ready in the morning really quickly. I've already just put a moisturizer on. What I've actually used, I've been loving, is this 10 minute brightening mask. And it just really, really does illuminate your face. I love it. You just squeeze a little bit on here. You can also use it at night just to give that really nice glow or you can leave it on for 10 minutes and take it off and then exfoliate your skin really nicely. And I'll just put it on in an upward motion, like so. Like so. And my hands, it's a really beautiful product. And then what I get is my ultrasonic, um, what is this? It's like a vibrating tool and you can exfoliate your skin as well as massage product into your skin and you do it in an uplifting motion and I find this really works with just penetrating the product into my skin and like so you can do it up your neck as well this area here on your eyebrows to give that lift. I find that I really like it because it really just sucks the product in around your eyes and it's really good if it dark circles around your eye as well. Yeah, on your nose, on your forehead. So what this does is while you can turn it the other way around and like scrape your skin with water and it just takes away the dead skin as well. I love it. Really, this is like a bit of a random video. Concealer, I've got the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in not the lighter shade, I think it's the shade is W NW25. And yeah, I just do this like so. I'm gonna do something just a little bit different today. I haven't really videoed this exact way. I'm doing my makeup but I just I do change it up all the time I don't do exactly the same thing yeah oh yeah so I thought that oh I'm going to just do it there too corners of the mouse like that now yeah. Mac sculpt foundation today i haven't used can put this at the back of my hand i'm not using a beauty blender just dab a little bit the shade's a little bit darker for me actually this is in 30 nc30 oh yeah it's a bit yellow anyway it's okay i'm gonna have one of those yellow days i guess i got another shade i should have had all this prepared nc25 I find this shade's good, or you can mix them. I find this shade good for winter. You can mix them, but I don't really. I'm not really fussed of being. I'm not really fussed of being too bronze. Just my main concern that your skin looks flawless. <laughs> you got flawless skin. You got it all. So I'm just gonna blend this. I'm using using this different type of brush. I usually use a flathead brush, but I'm using a brush now with a pointed top semi-pointed and it's just a real technique contouring brush really but i find this really just works just really gets it into the skin in a flawless way as opposed to the kabuki brushes that have that flat top i find that those just really leave a lot of streaks for me so look not the finished look sorry rewind that this is the look after i've added my foundation with these two brushes the pointed tip it's not so dense and it's not so flat but i feel that it gives me that really nice flawless finish and i do bring it down to my neck and i've just quickly just powdered lightly over those areas i can just start really quickly adding my blush and some use just a studio bronzer that i have but i also like to use like a little brush like this if i'm going to do like a 
like a contour shade so I can contour my cheeks and I really try because I've got the because I have the powder on my face I can use a powder bronzer so this is just a really quick day look that I do go for but don't forget I change my makeup all the time so I just like to change it up and experiment so I'll do it there and I do put a generous amount because then I just go over it with some more like a buffing powder just to even everything out and not have any harsh lines so I'm just trying to work out like where I need it but I'll just try and buff it out here but to get into that groove you can see that I do have a bit of a harsh line so I just then what I like to do is just bring it a little bit on my forehead not too much with this I find this little brush here I can really get really frisk like that then I'll draw it underneath the tip of my nose this is just a really really quick getting ready I'll just do it a bit bring it down really lightly I can you can use a thinner brush but I find that I just want to be really quick and simple and then under my chin down my jaw Ready, getting under there. Ready, getting under the ear. Bring it down the neck. That's the difference. And yeah, I just do a little bit around there. And what you can do sometimes put it on your eyelids as well. Sometimes I like to do that just to blend everything in. And you just sort of buff it out a bit with that. Or you can put some more on. But I just want to just keep this really simple. And see if you like this makeup look that I'm doing right now okay what do I do next next uh, I'll go usually to eyeshadow you can just put some blush as well but I'll just go to the eyeshadow don't forget that it's all a bit patchy right now but with the eyeshadow don't mind me I'm probably gonna need my mirror I'm just gonna get the, I just use usually one a fluffy brush like this and I'll use a very fine tipped brush and I'll use like a flat brush as well to add it on the eyelid now first things first is the flat brush and what I like to do is just use like a very natural shade like this one here and oh, let me move this powder and what I do is dab it all over my eyelid I wish I could have got a, a larger brush I'll just use this one like a fluffy brush doesn't really matter when you're putting the base on I do like to have the base that just cleans it up a little bit and you need to have separate brushes as well just to keep everything nice and clean so you're not mixing different colors right after that I just got to work out use a different brush and which is another fluffy brush and I usually go for like a, a peachy color so I'll put that just above my crease I'm doing that often I'm not going right in the crease I have a very strong crease but I just want to go just above lightly ever so lightly above my crease like that and bring it a little bit down and just out so again on the other side, ever so lightly, above my crease, just like that. Circular motions, down a little, and out to my temple. Just gives you that little bit of a lift. It's always nice to have a bit of an, a brow lift, isn't it? Not those block brows, but... <laughs> a little bit like that and then for my color on my eyelids and a flat fluff, fluffy brush and you can use the same color if you want but because we didn't actually put it on the eyelid right in the crease you can put the 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 color that you want right in that crease and cover that whole eyelid so it makes your eyes look bigger and bolder so yeah so this just that's how, that transition color is what I was trying to think about what color I want to do I might go like a I don't know, like a brown. I do love a bit of brown. So 
so it's like a bronze color and I just bring it all the way into the corner right into the crease even though that's not the transition color a lot of people put that transition color right in the crease but I'm doing just something different because I try like a lot of different things and see if I like them and I like it so that just stays nice and neat there you can wing it out a little bit on the corners just like that it's really soft it's a very and if you do want to wing it out even more you would need a thinner kind of head brush so just to add a little bit of depth and just preciseness you'll just use that one but let's just do the other side right now draw it right into the corner drawing it right into the corner also creates like your eyes the illusion that your eyes are closer together but you don't want your eyes to look small absolutely not so yeah I'm just gonna add a little bit to the corners there right with my fluffy brush I'm just gonna blend that all out again Okay, get out. Okay, now it's a little bit, it's actually swanked it out really nicely because I've used quite light colours. But if you ever feel that it looks quite messy, especially when you're using dark colour, just spray your beauty blender with just a, a cheap Insta Fix and Go and dip it into any kind of translucent powder, just like that, and really, really lift, try and neaten up that product, just like that. Don't cut your eye off because you, you, some people just really like that elongated look and some people just want that real lifted look. Today I'm just going to go for that just that more lifted look. Just like that. Leave that on for a little bit and then just dust it off with the brush. And my next thing I'm going to do, let's put that away, is my mascara. So what I usually do is curl these lashes because I've got very straight lashes so they need to be curled. So I'm just going to curl them and just pump them up and curl them, curl them, curl them. I'm actually getting my lashes done. I've got my girl's eighth birthday soon. I just thought, I just want to get my lashes done. I usually, I have got them done in the past and they can irritate me when I find that they're falling out. So I do like to do a lot of my own things. So I like to just create my own volume lashes. So that's how they're curled. And then I'll go and use, I love this mascara at the moment, the old false lash x fiber mascara and i'll just use the number one just to add fibers on my lashes and make them look really really thick and bold which i love that so i'm just gonna do just add a little bit because i'm not really i've just got a few errands to do today so i'm not gonna put any on my bottom lash i just like everything to look really lifted i don't know if you can see that i probably need to zoom in for you guys so you see that it's actually pretty good you can actually put more coats on as well so so i'm going to just do the other side and i'm just gonna pump it pump it pump it pump it sorry if my video is not the best i'm really just starting out doing youtube videos and i love makeup and i love fashion that's and i love skincare and that's my area and also i love taking videos of the kids because they're just so cute and they love it as well so now let me just add the mascara on the other side. So it adds these fibers. Yeah, just for me, it's what I like. And now I want to brush these eyebrows. I don't really do much to my eyebrows, actually. I just leave them natural, unless I fill in gaps. I do fill in gaps if I need to. But at the moment, I just leave them because I've got very dark lashes and light hair and I just Fine, that they're they're fine. When I do put stuff on them, I just feel like I look too done up. Right now, for a little bit of articulation, I do need some blur. This is all different types of makeup from every. I've got so much makeup, but it's just whatever I've got here right now that I'm just wanted to do a quick makeup look. This is the Life's a Peach from L'Oreal, and I'm just gonna dab that just on the apples of my cheeks. 
such a beautiful, I love peach colours at the moment. It's a really nice blush. You, and I'll just rub it into, blend it into, buff it out into my contour bronzer that I've used for contour. I sometimes I do use bronzer for contour. There's no rules in makeup, no rules at all. There's a few, but not many. You can just add a bit there, add a bit there, so everything blends in. I love things just blending in. Okay, that's the makeup look. You can use a bit of pink. You can put a bit of pink. So, for example, this pink shade that I don't know the name of because that it fell off. And I'll just add just a, bit of a, tick, a little bit of pink on top, just like that, right in the apples of the cheeks. Okay, just like that. So then you've got that articulation. I really like it. And right. Um, I need the lipstick, so yeah. So I just use a natural color, and everybody always comments about my lips. Have you had more filler done? Have you had? So I have to always answer those questions without being rude. Like I get it from my family, I get it from people in the street, I get it from everywhere. So I just sort of answer. You got to expect that anyway, don't you? Right now, the last stage is what I do. That's the end. And look, and if you like it, run it down your neck as well. This is the end look. So what I do to just to blend everything out, because right now, oops, I forgot something. The same thing we did with the eye area, knitting it up. Just do it with your contour under here, because look at that, how, how messy is that? And a little bit on top, just like that. And do it the same way. These are things that you have to do just to... There's no rules with makeup, but keeping it neat in the corners of the mouth, lifting them up, keeping it neat is really important. So the next thing I want to do is just wait for this to work. And what I do, I just buff that one out. I could have done my eyes better today, but I'm going to buff this out earlier too, so I can show you what I do. So what I do now is... Um, Buff everything out in upward motion, really lightly. Like that. Oh, my nose, it has. I didn't. And I use this one to get into the corners of my eyes. around my lips, the top of my nose and if you want to put some highlighter you can today I'm not going to because I've just had someone walk in the house now and I haven't got time but yeah highlighter goes really nicely I usually put it on the tip of my nose I shall might put some on so I usually do put some highlighter I do like to put it on the tip of my nose I've got a gold one here it's probably a bit too much but that's what I found and I'll just put it there just a bit there and a bit there and sometimes it's on my eyebrow yeah I don't like to put too much shine but um, this is a real glittery sort of one and buff it out but it's quite nice and I recently just cut my hair as well and I'm going to just straighten it with the GHD um, glide yeah but I really like it it's just really girly I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll try and do some other YouTube videos that you I think that you guys would like I'll just show you a photo of my end of look when I've straightened my hair. And yeah, if you want to know any questions, just please ask and subscribe. Bye-bye. Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Bye.